Every two years, the Greenlanders have a contest to determine the national champion. John Peterson won this championship in 1989, and he will hold that title until 1991, when there will be another contest. John's grandfather was a kayaker who delivered the mail from Nuuk to Manitsak, a distance of 112 miles, a two-day trip by kayak in the open sea. John's kayak is covered with canvas. It's made in the traditional way, however, and his paddle is tipped in bone for working in the ice. He's wearing sealskin trousers, sealskin boots, and a sealskin tuileek or kayak jacket. The kayak fits like a shoe, and he has to wriggle into it. On the foredeck is a harpoon throwing stick, which he will use as part of his demonstration. The kayak is about three times John's height, and his paddle is one arm span long, plus a distance from his fingertips to his wrist joint. Many of the best kayakers prefer this length, although some uh, prefer the length of one arm span plus the distance from the fingertips to the elbow or a cubit. A slightly longer paddle for general cruising. The paddle is narrow so that it can be gripped firmly at any point for better control. John is adjusting the hem of his kayak jacket around the combing of the cockpit. It must fit perfectly in order to seal out the water. It has a drawstring in the hem that terminates in a knob with a slider on it. If there are any wrinkles, it will leak. So it has to be fitted very carefully, and then uh, it takes a little more trouble to put it on. There are drawstrings around his wrists and another drawstring that fits around his face so that he's effectively a part of the kayak itself. John commented that the swimming pool was very warm. The drawstring around his face overlaps across his forehead and comes out in near the eyes so that when he pulls it tight around the back of his head, it prevents the hood from falling down over his face. In really cold weather, the Greenlanders wear a mitten that has two thumbs so that when it gets wet and slick, it can be reversed. Greenland kayakers warm up with a sculling paddle brace. You'll notice he's looking straight up. That keeps his head immersed so that he gains buoyancy from the water. They almost invariably start with a sculling paddle brace on the back, followed by one on the chest. Now, this maneuver was developed to arrest a capsize if an animal were to 
pull the kayak over when it was harpooned and the line got tangled, it would tend to pull the kayaker under. So he faces a side on which he's capsizing and skulls to prevent being capsized. Now, all of these maneuvers can be done in both directions, and John can do them in all directions. In the 1989 contest, he won all nine categories of the championship match. He, the next maneuver is a standard roll. Lean forward, sweep out so that the torso sweeps with the paddle, sweeping aft and then coming up. The harpoon line might get tangled so that they learn uh, many other ways of rolling. This one is if his arm were tangled up. He can roll with the paddle in the crook of his arm. This method is very popular in Greenland, leaning back, capsizing with the paddle across the far gunnel. If they were to capsize in, this, in a similar position, they could roll up without having to shift their position. Here is still another variation with very similar to the standard roll, but with the paddle behind the neck. can do this also reaching over the far gunnel and capsizing backward. If his harpoon line were tangled up around one arm and he had only one arm to use, he could still roll up by holding the paddle in his mouth or the armpit and rolling up in that manner. John's a splendid athlete. He's also the skateboard champion of Greenland. John here is indicating that he thinks he can roll up in this deep end of the pool with the vertical paddle roll holding the paddle vertical in the water and sculling up. He checks the depth, then keeps the paddle held vertically, sculling himself up. These sculling rolls are very useful in that they require very little movement of the paddle, just a back and forth movement with the leading edge toward the surface to gain lift. He can scull over, scull around with the paddle held on the foredeck. And then sometimes they might get caught underwater with the paddle in a strange position one of the maneuvers they practice is with the arms crossed. This is a very difficult role. You'll notice that as he comes up, he barely makes it up. But John is a splendid uh, athlete, as I said, and he has tremendous sense of balance. The cross arm roll.
They can also scull around with a paddle held under the kayak. As he capsizes, he holds a blade on edge to keep it from stopping him uh, on the surface. Then he adjusts the angle of the blade to scull up. One of the standard maneuvers that they perform at the championship is to do various rolls uh, several times in succession. He's getting in position to do several successive rolls. He's going to roll five times, coming up leaning forward. And now he's going to roll four times using the standard roll. Or he comes up leaning aft. A Greenlander might lose his paddle at sea, in which case he has to be prepared to roll up with some other piece of kayak equipment, or even his hand. Now he has his throwing stick on the foredeck and he'll demonstrate several rolls using the throwing stick. A Greenlander can also roll using the harpoon or the sealskin float that's carried on the after deck. First he'll roll with the throwing stick held forward. Then with the throwing stick held aft. Then with the throwing stick held forward, capsizing, making a sweep under the water, and coming up with the throwing stick leaning aft. In addition to rolling with the throwing stick, Greenlanders learn to roll by several methods using only their hands. One hand roll is with the hand forward
There are many other hand rolls with the using both hands or with the hand starting from the aft position as shown here. Then the hand can use be used in a sculling position, similar to the movement used in treading water. Here he leans forward, capsizes, and then sculls up. John asked for a piece of tape here. He was going to tape his fist to show that he rolled with his clenched fist. Sometimes Greenlanders will hold a rock in their fist to prove that their fist is closed during the roll. But we told him we would trust him, and so he rolled with just his clenched fist. For this roll, he has to do more of a hip snap motion to the kayak. You'll notice it as he capsizes. Now, picking up his paddle again, John goes to the shallow end of the pool and comes toward the camera with the kayak upside down and the paddle held above the bottom of the kayak. Sometimes in Greenland you will see kayakers paddling along, several of them together, paddling along side by side, having an informal race upside down. Now this is not as difficult as it looks. You can sit in a kitchen chair with your feet up in another chair or a footstool, hold the paddle under your legs, and make a back paddling motion, since everything is reversed in that position. Make a back paddling motion, and it will propel you forward. But it's still very tricky because you're exerting yourself underwater, and you use up your breath more quickly than you would ordinarily. And you have to allow a little extra time to roll up. You'll notice that John's kayak has a few broken ribs. He performs often, and the kayak gets very hard service. Water catches in the lower part of his tuilik. And some Greenlanders wear a brace that's fastened to the middle of their back and goes over one shoulder, or sometimes there are two braces going over each shoulder. And they join a hook in the front part of his tuilik, which keeps the slack out of the leak and prevents water from puddling. John prefers to do it without the brace. And John has come over the side of the pool to ask for a cigarette or other object to show the cigarette trick. Now, since it's a swimming pool and since John doesn't smoke anyway, they decide to use a ballpoint pen as a cigarette. 
with the pen simulating a cigarette, John goes back to the deep water. The object here would be to capsize, roll up, without getting the cigarette wet. The next morning in the same swimming pool, Calrock Beck demonstrated a few rolls with underwater photography. This is a reverse sweep, but Calrock was using a borrowed boat that didn't fit, so he made a few errors, but you'll notice that he doesn't get out of the kayak. He keeps his position and rolls up by another method. That's a standard roll. This is a standard roll. Notice he looks straight up as he surfaces. There he's rolling with a float The following day, John Peterson demonstrated some kayaking maneuvers in Manashka Bay, which is just north of the town of Kodiak. There was a strong wind blowing on shore And you can see that as John paddles out, there's quite a bit of wind. Ordinarily, the Greenlanders do not hold their paddle in this position. Only when paddling against the wind do they take uh, the deep strokes with a, a more vertically held paddle. Ordinarily, their forearms are level with the surface of the water, and the paddle doesn't make over a 30-degree angle with the water as viewed from the front or back. And this is a very easy, uh, restful way to paddle all day. Now John saw a sea otter. Notice the sea otter head only for a few seconds. The sea otter was came up, looked around at the crowd, and decided this wasn't the place for him or her, and submerged. A hundred years ago or more, Kodiak Islanders hunted the uh, sea otter in these same waters. John warms up with a little bracing on each side. But he kept having to back paddle to get out to deeper water. He was trying to stay close enough to shore so that he could be seen, but the wind kept blowing him on shore into shallow water. Standard roll. Then with the paddle behind the neck, comes up and slowly capsizes back under doing a very slow roll.
rolling in the surf or waves is more difficult than rolling in a swimming pool, of course. Comes up with his arms crossed. He does a few rolls here they did not do in the swimming pool. One of them is to hold a paddle across the shoulder. And roll up. Then he needs to get back and make a charge at the beach to show how to capsize at full speed and then roll up. They practice capsizing at speed and then also when back paddling so that if they're caught unaware they can still roll up. Now John will brace on each side and then roll up with the paddle horizontal. In addition to several sculling rolls that support the paddler down in the water, some Greenlanders can roll with the paddle motionless. It's called a balance brace. The kayak and everything is in static equilibrium. No movement at all. You notice he keeps the kayak tilted away from him so it won't fall back over on him. This is not a common method of rolling in Greenland. It's something that John is improvising. Now John will do several rapid rolls with the throwing stick only. During these rolls he holds a paddle under the bottom of the kayak. Everyone needs to take a break occasionally. Rolling with the hand only, John capsizes and does several successive rolls. John found the water at Kodiak to be much warmer than that of Greenland. For example, in his next maneuver, which is paddling upside down, 
he found that it was much more pleasant at Kodiak because his face didn't get his cold. Without a reference point uh, being upside down, it's easy to get slightly off track in the waves. these braces occasionally to just warm up. Here he capsizes, leaves the paddle on bottom, pulls down on it and rolls up. He has to check the depth periodically because the wind keeps taking him in to shore. Notice the paddle held on the edge until it's underwater, then it's sculled back and forth. In this next roll, he capsizes and comes up, capsizes without the paddle, and then comes up with it, grabbing it on the opposite surface. Greenlanders learn to stay inside the kayak when they capsize because they realize that's the very last option they have. If they, the best flotation they have is a kayak. So in this next maneuver, he'll discard his paddle and then dog paddle to it, retrieve it without getting out of the kayak. If he ever got out of the kayak in the water in Greenland, which is sometimes below the freezing temperature of fresh water, he wouldn't stand a chance. There's not much need to wear a life jacket in that cold of water. They have to stay in the kayak. He dog paddles over, retrieves his paddle, rolls up. Now he could also roll up with several other pieces of hunting equipment that might be carried on the deck. They've found in Greenland that it's not necessary to carry a spare paddle since they have several other pieces of equipment that could be used in an emergency. John's getting in position to do a roll with the hand only. The important thing is when they fail, 
They just try again. They do not get out of the kayak. As John paddles out offshore, you can see that his, there's, there's a strong wind. There's beautiful scenery at Kodiak. It's a wonderful place to paddle. And kayakers have been paddling here for many centuries. John's coming into shore. He's bracing, just uh, playing as he comes in. The Greenlanders enjoyed their visit to Kodiak, and they were invited to return the following year as part of a continuing cultural exchange. 